Hey, I'm John with Severe Thrifters. I know when I'm out sourcing and I come across Revere Wear, they typically look like this, don't they? Kind of roasted on the bottom. Their uh, handles are a little faded. Well, I'm going to show you guys how I turn that into this. All right, as you can see, this is a piece of Revere Wear which it's made in the USA, some great vintage pots. I'm gonna show you how I clean this black on this copper and how to get these faded handles looking black again. So a few things you're gonna need, this is what I use, is the Easy Off Oven and Grill Cleaner in the yellow can. I use a ammonia-free glass cleaner. And this is a little special putty that I use. Now, keep in mind, I used to make pens for a living, so there's a lot of products out there that were made to make pens shine and have a nice coating on it. So this is a more for epoxy resin, but you could also use like cutting board wax, and we're going to use that for the handles. I'll show you what we're going to do. First things first, we have this copper. Um, you're going to have to be patient. I use the easy off. What you want to do is you want to coat this really well all right get it all nice and foamy you're just going to let it sit for 45 minutes just walk away and go do some listing all right while we wait for this oven cleaner to kind of do its do its thing i'm going to show you guys a couple things on the lids of revereware as you can see i have two different style knobs this is not Revere wear. What you're looking for is this circular, almost looks like a concentric circle like you'd see on a dartboard. That's your vintage Revere wear lid knob. This here, you can see a kind of a funky design. It's a little taller. That knob is actually a vintage Farber wear pan. So they're good to look for as well. This one's got a little crack in it. But what I want to show you today is see how that's kind of faded. We're just going to kind of brighten that up, and there's two ways of doing it, but my way is, for me, is the easiest, so I'll do it real quick. So I'm going to set that Farberware to the side, and I'll show you here. What I'm using is, you could use a cutting board wax if you want, beeswax, something like that. I'm going to take a rag, which I have one that's already got some goo on it, this one, all right, and I am going to take a little bit of this wax it's a paste and I'm just gonna kind of spread it all around it's okay to get it on the stainless okay and then I'm gonna take this I don't know if I'll be able to show you I'm gonna kind of fold it in half and I'm gonna use like a sawing motion to go around so I can get the base of that knob okay and we're just going to let that sit for about 30 seconds or so, or a minute. We're going to let the wax kind of set up. Then I'll show you what we'll do. All right, after you let it set for about a minute, you take a clean rag. This doesn't have the one that had the goo on it. It's right here. And all you're going to do is buff this out. Remember how non-shiny what i don't want is super glossy to make it look like i did something to alter it because remember this is supposed to be a vintage pan lid so i'm just going to go lightly buff it with a, a cotton rag and then i'm going to fold it in half again like i did before and i'm going to kind of like saw at it around the base of that and now you can see it's not like super shiny but it's definitely looks like it's been taken care of and the material that I'm using is non-toxic. So it's not going to hurt anybody. It's not going to hurt anything. It's not going to catch on fire or anything like that. So it gives it a great feel. It's not slippery, but it makes it feel nice. So I do that. And then I take that glass cleaner. And I will hit the inside of that can. Or the lid, sorry. See how it foams up? And then I'm just going to, like you would, clean windows or whatnot. So I'm going to clean that real good. Okay, and then for the outside of this, I'm going to just clean it like you would anything else. And then I'll show you. 
And being that you have the wax already on that knob, that stuff's not gonna, the glass cleaner's not gonna affect it any. And sometimes, if you get like a sticky residue, say from a sticker or whatnot, you can use uh, isopropyl alcohol or hand sanitizer and that will loosen it, but look. And that lid, I don't wanna say it looks like new because I don't want it to look like new. I just want it to look taken care of and still vintage. So much better. Here's a real rough one. See how faded that is? You see how it's almost white. So in real time, we're just gonna go ahead and apply the wax paste to it. You can overdo it, it's not gonna hurt anything. I'm gonna wipe that in. I'm gonna fold this in half and I'm gonna work it in around like that and let it sit for a minute. And you'll see what a difference that makes. And the great thing about this process is I'm also gonna do the same thing to the handles of the pans and pots. Um, it's the same material that's used. So say you let it sit and then you just buff it out. Fold it in half. Now look, look at that. That looks so good, doesn't it? And it feels nice too. It doesn't feel like slippery or anything like that. It kind of feels, I guess, waxy in a way, but it doesn't leave anything on your hands. So real nice, look at that finish. All right, here's the time we've all been waiting for. This stuff's been the easy off oven and grill cleaner has been sitting on the copper bottom Revereware pot for 45 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is I have an old rag here, another old cotton cloth. It was a towel that I just ripped up. And I'm gonna do a quick wipe off so you guys can see how much of this black comes off. Now, if the pan is in worse condition than this, you might have to do this twice. It's not a big deal. Spray a heavy coat on there and just walk away for another 45 minutes and some more will come off. So I just, want to show you live how much will wipe off there and this is just one time you guys saw me squirt it on there and that's it so this is one coat of easy off on the bottom of a pot it's revere wear vintage so here we go look at that All right, I didn't scrub or anything. That was merely, I sprayed this on, let it sit for 45 minutes and wiped it off. Now, as you can see, there's some heavier stuff there. Okay, I will just do it again, but can you see the huge difference it makes? Right there, it's amazing. It really, really is how good that is. Now, for the handles, I'll just, I'm gonna do this one more time to get more of this black off, but I'll go ahead and show you what I do on the handles is I use that, we'll just say cutting board paste or beeswax. I just put a little bit on the rag, just like I did the uh, lid knobs. Now there's a couple ways you can do it. You could try to pull these screws off and take the handle off. I don't recommend that because a lot of this plastic becomes brittle over the years. And if you start to pull that out, you very well could break something. So I try to leave as much as I can on there in an effort to not break anything. So I'm just gonna leave the paste sit. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. You guys can kind of see what I'm doing there. I go underneath. Okay, and the longer it sits, the better it works. But what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna immediately wipe it off so you can see how it looks if you had to do this quickly.
Look at that. What a difference that stuff makes, right? Like I said, there's a lot of different products out there that you can use. Some of the easiest things are cutting board, refinishers or conditioners. And what's really nice about using stuff like that, it's food safe, non-toxic, not flammable, anything like that. So it's not a heavy duty cleaner or anything like that. And if it ever goes faded again, they could apply the same thing and make it look just like this. But look at that. I must not got some right inside there. So if that's the case, then I just will take my rag again. I probably didn't bend this right and get it in there. Just like that. And I will... You can see. Quick, quickly wipe it off. Look at that. Look at the bottom already. What a difference that made. But yeah, guys, that's, that's how I do it. The lids are no different. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna show this real quick before I shut her down, is go ahead and spray some more on here. I'm just gonna let it sit. All right, I'm John with Severe Thrifters. I hope you learned a little bit about uh, cleaning the copper clad bottoms on Revereware pans and how to shine up the handles and, and lid knobs. But uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw here. Definitely subscribe down below um, to get notifications on when my new video comes out. And I really do appreciate it. Thanks. See ya. All right, for you resellers, here's a little tip for you when it comes to Revere Wear. The ones that bring you a little bit more money are the ones that have the copper clad bottom. But not only are they made in the USA, they're actually made in two different locations, which you'll have one like this one. Let me see if I can even get it to you. It's made in Clinton, Illinois. But the other one, let me turn her here. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, is made in Rome, New York. Now, as far as sold comps, the percentages are pretty close to the same on either one. Um, and prices are pretty close to the same as well. But the one thing about the New York Revere wear is that there's less listed, probably around 800 or so. And then the sold comps, I think they're right around 500. So the Rome, New York ones are, I guess, more rare. They're not rare in the terms of it's going to be worth more, but there's less of those listed. So obviously, I think you're going to sell those a little quicker just because there's not as many listed. Uh, with regards to the Clinton, Illinois Revere wear, there's like 2,000 listed. So that just kind of gives you a little idea of what to look for. They're both just as valuable I don't think, according to the soul comps, I don't think the New York ones are any more valuable than the Clinton because they're both Revere wear, but just it's kind of fun little fact.